Zero here, and welcome back to the Liquid Crystal Fairy Pseudo Monotype. Last time, I caught a Clefairy, vaulted the playable, made it to Azalea Town, beat up Team Rocket, won my second gym badge, and beat all three of my rivals in attack. Yes, there are three of them to contend with. This time, we're proceeding on to Goldenrod City and potentially acquiring one or two more Pokemon for the team. So, first things first, we gotta get through this damn forest. Go away. And I actually may end up having to evolve Curly into Gardevoir before I take on Whitney, just because... Fuck that damn cow! Oh yeah, and TM2 in this, because it's using the Gen 2 TM list, is Headbutt. Now... What's interesting is I could teach it to Togetic and have its Well, I could what I could do is it will make the target flinch more often. In fact, I think that is what I'm gonna do. Because stun locking is absolutely hilarious. The problem is, of course, it's also very slow, but it does give me a more reliable move than Metronome. Even if my attack stat is a fair bit lower. I'll take it. Go away. Whoops. There's an either. Just knock it out already. Okay. So now we make it through. I don't know why there's a patch of grass here. It's kind of redundant because you find Pokemon all over the place in here. You can talk to this lady. And that's apparently a Butterfree next to her, not a Pidgeot. We get TM for Sweet Scent. Kind of useless. Anyways, there's a bunch of trainers coming up. And you know what? I am going to switch over to Curlia. Again, just because I might want to have it evolved into Gardevoir before I take on the next gym. Well, fuck off. Sure you are, kid. Anyways, we'll be back here to talk to that guy in a bit. But before I do that... Oh yeah, well, also, you talk to the police after dark and they'll battle you. He's not kidding, by the way. He actually has one of the stronger Pokemon to encounter up to this point. A Ninetales. Not a whole lot of good it's going to do against me, though. And for some reason, he has the gym leader victory chime. I don't know why. But anyways, the reason why I'm doing that is because, well, we're going to be resetting for an egg. And, uh, well, what's the fastest way to hack an egg in this particular hack? The answer is to go back and forth through Goldenrod City along this road here. There's a few trainers in the way first, though. First things first, let's go down here. Oh yeah, and that's where the science lab is, says Cinnabar Island, because of course in Gen 2, Cinnabar Island was destroyed by a volcanic eruption. Let we get the bike. Let's uh, register this. We're not going to fight every trainer on this route, just the ones that are going to get in the way. Or 
All right, so now we've done that, we can go back and get the egg. Okay, so the Pokemon we're resetting for this time is Iglybuff, which is a garbage Pokemon, but it evolves into Jigglypuff, which I could use. Um, and, well, let me put, what was I trying to say? Also, yeah, in Gen 2, the Odd Egg and Crystal has a higher chance of hatching into a shiny Pokemon. That is not the case here, which is unfortunate. It's full odds. So, anyways, I'm going to skip ahead until it hatches. All right. First attempt, what does it hatch into? Nope, that is not what I want. Reset. What's it going to be this time? There we go, second try. Now we're gonna call you. Hmm, another female. So what's another woman from Arthurian myth? All right, so you're gonna be Isult. There's actually two characters by the name Isult the Fair and Isult of the White Hands. One is a much more pleasant character than the other one. Anyways, we're gonna go and heal. And, uh, well, there's actually a couple other Pokemon we're gonna get. One of them I'm gonna use, but the other one is just more for just to show you something really cool. So I'll skip ahead until that happens. All right, here's one of the two Pokemon I wanted to actually catch. Um, and I'll explain why in a bit. So, okay, first things first, we're gonna need to just spam Pokeballs until you get the ball. Now we're actually not gonna nickname you because we're not going to be holding on to you. I'll explain why. Okay, so the reason why I want to catch the Ditto is because there's a rather interesting in-game trade here at the Science Center. There's actually a couple things you can get here. Um, well, it's this guy right here. A strange Ditto, huh? What do you think that is? Uh, that's glitched. I don't know why. Did you see that? Oh, yeah. This is a guaranteed shiny that you get from an in-game trade. And it's a fucking ditto. Now, what's interesting is that if it uses Transform, it turns into the shiny version of the Pokémon that it's facing. So, yeah, that's a kind of cool. Oh, and it holds a Stardust, so you can get money from that. But that's not all there is here. So, over here, this guy, that guy right there, who's just walking around, uh, he can teach your Pokemon Dragon Claw. Some of the moves that are TMs in Gen 3 are changed to move tutor moves here. Although I should note that which Pokemon can learn these moves do not necessarily max... Uh, match up with normal Gen 3. It's pretty arbitrary, to be honest. Yeah, and this guy, uh, this guy actually restores fossils if you get any. You can get the fossils, uh, later on in, uh, Kanto and other places. Anyways, though, gotta get, you know, back to the PC because there's another Pokemon I want to get. Or I could have just caught a fucking Jigglypuff. Ah, oh well. There we go, that's the other Pokemon I wanted to see, Snubble. Snubble, well, Gramble, when it evolves, is actually quite a powerful little Pokemon. Slow, but powerful. Okay, so, uh, hmm. You know, we are actually going to try and weaken you a bit. Oh, right. Never mind. Uh, put you back to sleep again. Don't want to attack you. Yeah, this is kind of an awkward way to do it. But I really want to maximize my odds of catching it. Now, let's use the nest ball. There we go. You know, despite me trying to use a whole, uh, trying to go with an Arthurian theme, I'm finding a whole lot of chicks. Anyone notice that? What the hell am I gonna call you? All right, we're gonna call you Elaine. Again, there were two Elaines in the Legends. There was Elaine of Garla, 
and or Garlo, I guess. And Elaine of Corbinek. So now we gotta go get you out of the PC too. While we're at it, let's go into the department store real quick. There's a couple things you can get here. The most important of them, well, a couple things. Well, first of all, let's switch over to Morgan real quick. And that gets me TN27 Return. A very, very strong move if I give it to Pokemon that likes me. But now I'm also going to switch back because there's a couple moves I can buy here, but I want to save so I make sure I don't waste any money. So you see, the TM seller here sells the elemental punches, which, thanks to the physical special split being a thing in this hack, are physical attacks. So we're gonna get one of each, we're gonna see which one Snubble can learn, and then I'm gonna reset so that I don't waste any money. Okay, you can learn Fire Punch, you can learn Ice Thunder Punch, and, oh, you can learn all three of them! In that case, good! Because you are going to be a coverage machine, Elaine. Also, I, I find kind of amusing. Of course, I have only one dude at Galahad. Any of you have ever seen Monty Python and the Holy Grail will get the joke. Can't I just be in a little bit of peril? Alright. Yeah, you're going to be really, really good. And one very few physical attackers I'm actually going to have access to. Oh, and this guy right here, if you really want to troll Whitney, he'll trade you a Machop for an Abra. It was rather convenient that we grabbed the charcoal back in Zaley Town, because now, of course, Snubble knows Fire Punch and it can benefit from it. So now let's just beat up a bunch of the trainers down here. But not with you. We are definitely going to try and evolve Curly into Gardevoir. Fine, be that way. It actually won't take long to evolve Snubble either. It evolves at level 23. There's the coin case. And this chick sells herbal medicine. Which is cheap, but uh, makes your Pokemon kind of hate you. I believe you could also buy Revival Herbs somewhere else, too. I'm not sure. Do I even want to bother with this? No. Oh, but you'll only talk to her once in a given day. Yeah, it's annoying. But, with the Salon, we can make our po we can make our Pokémon like us more, which means Iglybuff might evolve a little faster. Fine, be that way. Smart ass. I'm actually gonna Nice try. Now we're gonna go back and heal one just for one second. Now we're back down here again, there's one more trainer we can beat. This guy. Eh, too bad. Get over it. Oh, and uh... Another thing. Forget if it's over here or... Hmm. You can go up around this... Uh, no, you need Surf. Never mind. There's a hidden item you can get up there. Um, which I can't get yet. So here's the game corner. Unfortunately, no one gives you free coins in this particular game, but we're going to check the items they have. So that's going to be TMs for Blizzard, Thunderbolt, Fire Blast, Shadow Ball, and Dig. And over here, Abra, Cubone, Wildfet, Bagon, and Spoink. Right now, this is the... Actually, no, I think it can get Spoink much later, but this is the earliest place to get it. Can't use any of these, so no point. Anyways, we're going to go back and heal real quick, and then we're going to go off to fight the trainers up at the north. Okay, so now we're up at the northern part of the map. Let's go take care of this guy. Nope. 
Lick sucks. Oh. Nope. Better. Okay, so next up, this guy, well, we're actually gonna, we're gonna let, probably gonna take these guys on. This guy's a Magmar. And this one, we're gonna switch over to Igly Buff, because there's a bunch of weak Voltorb. Okay, now we'll switch off. Oh, come on. That was annoying. And of course, now I only have one Fampy in the party right now. I'm going to be getting a lot less items than those. Fine, be that way. Fuck off and go down already! Fucking mutt. Was it worth annoying me? Was it? Now let's go back and heal again. One of the things that really annoys me about this hack is how the weather can just change on a dime and it just stubbornly refuses to change sometimes. Because, well, of course, rain decreases the power of your fire type attacks, hail constantly damages you, but you never get bright sunlight, you never get sandstorm, you never get any of that. No, it's always either rain or hail. It's really, really annoying. So sometimes you have to constantly go back and forth to different routes just to get the weather to change. Now there's... Guy over here. Fuck off. I hate moves like Whirlwind and Roar. They just, one, they waste your time, and they just fuck up your attempt to grind against anything. If I had my way, I would just remove those moves from the fucking game. Same with Protect and Detect. Fuck those moves. And this house right here, uh, this guy is basically just a stat raider. It tells you the potential of your Pokemon. Useful if you're trying to breed them, I guess. Now we gotta go back around. Just two more levels. Oh, let's, uh, actually, let's go back and get my Paris real quick. So now we're up here. We got Paris back, and we can cut. Sure. What am I thinking now? Ah, fucking Kinesis. You wanna know what I was thinking? Yeah, what I was thinking was two words. You suck. Also, yes, that is Axel up there. We'll be dealing with him again later. Not battling, though. That's the only hint I'm gonna give you. There's another trainer over here. Yeah, we're just battling a fuck ton of trainers this time. We're training for the next gym battle. Just die already. And now I gotta go back and heal again. But yeah, and then there's this... Ex this right here you're overhearing is the excuse for why the bug catching contest is in this. All the Pokemon that you could catch here in the bug catching contest, you can catch somewhere else. Fuck you, dude. Ah, uh, this shit again. I really hate this. How often it has to fucking rain! Christ, is this supposed to be Japan or am I in fucking Seattle? Anyways, yeah, this uh, this chick gives you a quick claw, so that's useful for Pokemon that are kind of slowish. It doesn't proc often, but it does occasionally. We're actually gonna give that to Galahad here. A 
Okay, actually, we're gonna switch out. We're close to evolving. Level 22, almost there. Wow, that was almost enough to evolve right away. In fact, you know what? We're just gonna... Oh, yeah, it's Wild Talo here. This should be quick. Come on! There we go! Yep. Now, you may wonder, why is it that I... Why is it that I taught... Uh, what is now gonna be Gramble return. Well, you'll find out much later. There's a reason why I want that move slot open. Okay, so now you've evolved. We're actually gonna switch back over to Gardevoir real quick. Well, Curlia will be Gardevoir soon. And, uh,. I think that's all the trainers in that I can fight before the gym. But we're gonna get a couple more items here. So here's TM28 Dig. And over here, it's a Paralyzed Heal. But there's also other items you can get too. You see those? Yeah, um, we'll have to come back when we get Surf. But one of those is a good item, the other one is trash. So yeah, it's a prank. The hack dev can be really fucking mean. Level 30, time to evolve Curlia. Again, this is purely just so that I can flex on Whitney, because Lord knows that the bitch deserves it. And now we have one more Pokemon to evolve. I wonder how long it'll take. Just evolve already, goddammit! Oh. Okay. Took you long enough. Now, we finally have Daily Buff Evolved. Anyways, I think that's going to do it for this time, ladies and gentlemen. Like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, check out my Rumble page, and I will catch you all next time.